Order accepted. Five hard counters you need to know. In StarCraft, it's important to remember the hard counters, which is basically all you need to know to win. Here's the biggest hard counters that you need to know. Number one, Baneling's hard counter marines. Baneling's got bonus damage to light and marines are light. So obviously, this is already a hard counter. On top of that, marines are small and get all clumped up, which means that Banes kill more marines because splash damage. There is definitely no way a player that makes marines can beat a player that makes Banelings. So if you've got marines and they make Banes, change your unit composition right away. Number two, Void Ray's hard counter roaches. This is a really simple one that you should have already figured out, but some people still just don't get it. So here we go. Roaches don't shoot up. Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Roaches don't shoot up. So if you see a player that's making roaches, just make something that's up like void rays and you win. It's that easy. There's absolutely no way they'll just march across the map and destroy your entire base because you spent all your money to tech up to air and skip building the units or defenses that you need to defend one such an attack. Number three, Hydra's hard counter Void Rays. Void Rays do extra damage to armor and Hydra's are light, so they don't counter you. Also, Hydra's shoot up, so you're good there. Finally, Hydra's are fighting units, so you want them in the fight. What you absolutely don't want is Queens. Why do you think the Queen has spawned Lava, Transfuse, and is super slow off Creep? Because Queens are for macro and defense. Hydras are for attacking. Number four, Swarm Hosts Hard Counter Zealots. Let me break it down for you. Swarm Hosts make free units called Locusts. Zealots cost 100 minerals each. You can run your Zealots into Locust Swarms all day, and you know what's going to happen? You'll run out of minerals. The only way to beat free units is with other free units. So stop making sentries, hallucinate some void rays, and hopefully they'll just GG. There's absolutely no way that you should be building zealots if they have swarm hosts. Especially not to abuse a swarm host immobility and using your minerals to harass with zealots and war prisms. Number 5. Thor's hard counter mutas. The Thor is basically built to kill mutas. It's got splash damage, it's got bonus damage to light, which mutas are... It's even got a super long range, so the Mutas won't even know what hit them. If you got Mutas and the Terran starts building Thors, you actually just need to change your unit composition immediately. It's not like someone's going to come along and develop a special technique that allows Mutas to somehow magically beat Thors. Remember, units are meant to be used in a certain way, and it's always going to be that way. So make sure you use your units only in the way that other people say they should be used, instead of finding creative and fun alternatives that solve problems which would otherwise be left unsolved. My name is Jack Attack. This is Bronze Science.